Hi everyone. Today we will be learning some tips and tricks to understand the patent claims. But before going into the details, why we need that? Why we need the strategies? Can't we just read the patent and understand the patent claims? No. Sometimes we need out of the box strategies. Sometimes what happen when we are reading the patent claim, we are thinking like we are understanding everything. But sometimes there are certain terms in the patent claims which are not described by our patent also. Let me quickly move to our first strategy. So to give you an overall idea, this patent is regarding the building energy management system. Now, if we want to understand the patent claim, what we can do, we will start by reading it line by line. So, for example, in the first line, it has been mentioned that building equipment is used to monitor and control a variable in the building. Now, from the line itself, we can understand there must be some sensors which are controlling some variables in the building. But what are these variables? If you want to understand the meaning of this particular term, what you can do, you can simply highlight this term on the Google patents and what Google patent will do, on the left side, you can see wherever this particular term has been mentioned in the description, it will get automatically highlighted. So what you can do, you can read the text around this highlighted item to understand the meaning and scope of this term. Now to give you an example, here it has been mentioned that what are variables, temperature, humidity, airflow, etc. Now moving to our next strategy, it is not always easy to understand the meaning of the term from the text. Sometimes you have to refer to the diagrams as well. So to give you an example for this, here this line has been mentioned that some data samples are collected by the data collector and some raw data time series has been generated. Now what is this raw data time series? So what I will do, I will simply highlight it and you can see here that this figure 7b is also mentioning the raw data time series. So what we will do, we can simply go to the diagram. For opening its diagram, I will open its PDF. So if you see here that in this table that raw data time series has been mentioned and in that one timestamp is there and one value is there. Timestamp means as you can see here the date and the time of this value when this value has been captured, it is mentioned. Now moving to our next strategy, you can understand the claim term from the dependent claims as well. In this, a particular term building equipment has been mentioned. So in dependent claims, it might be the chance that the applicant itself has restricted this particular term. Like he has given the example of that building equipment should be some temperature sensor. Now if you want to understand the meaning of some term, you can refer to these dependent claims. To give you an example, here it has been mentioned that from raw data time series, optimized data time series can also be generated. So what are these optimized data time series? Data rollup time series, virtual point time series and further what is this data rollup time series and virtual point time series? For this you can easily use our previously discussed strategies. So that would be all from my side today. In this video we have basically understood the strategies in which how we can understand the patent claims from the patent itself. In the next part of this video, we will be learning some strategies to understand the patent claims from the litigation documents. This is Riddhi from Gravy and if you have any further questions related to this video, you can drop down the comment. Bye-bye.